Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm bringing you a tag video. Well, Annette made it into a tag video. I initially saw Eyes of Alexandra's video go up and the lovely Annette put her video up today. So I thought, well, and she told me in the comments that you need to do this. And if anything, I will pretty much do whatever Annette tells me to do. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'm a lover of colorful makeup and neutrals. And I'm a nurse who just loves playing with makeup when I have days off. So welcome. And if you're returning you already know I love you and how much I appreciate you so today we are doing the blind faith makeup tag so these is buying products you have never tried before if you were to suddenly lose all of your makeup and you were forced to solely buy makeup you have never tried before based on the reviews of people you've watched what would you buy uh, this was fairly stressful for me Anyway, I, like, I think it's a pretty fun concept. And as I sat down to do this, it got more stressful because I realized I've tried a lot of different brands. So it was really hard. And I tried to choose brands that I've only maybe tried one product from or I've only ever touched the testers, but I've never bought. Um, I just have a problem where I want to buy, like I want to own something from every single brand, especially eyeshadow palettes. And I want, I want every single brand represented in my room solely for my own use and to share with you guys. Anyway, so pretty much we go through the makeup items. I tried to list it in the order that I applied on my face because that seemed like more fun. Um, and you know, some organization to this video. So first up for primer, this took me a long time. And I actually went to my local Sephora and wandered around trying to think of products like what haven't I tried and what brand haven't I gone near? And the Cover FX Gripping Primer. The only reason I haven't tried this primer is because it is never in stock. <laughs> Sephora Australia is well known for not having stock. The tester is gone. There is nothing there. All I've seen is some good reviews. And you know, part of me just wishes I could get it, but I can only buy it from Sephora Australia. I could order online, but it's more fun buying in store. For foundation, it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is the foundation that I just remember hearing about a lot ages ago for being really good. And I've not really tried that much from Makeup Forever in the scheme of things. I think I've, do I own anything? All I own is an eye <laughs> is like one of the Z palettes that I've put Climanatrix eyeshadows in. So <laughs> yeah, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I've seen some good reviews about it and I'm curious about it. I'd like to try it. For concealer, this took me a long time because I was like, I mean, this is my concealer drawer and this isn't even all the concealers I've tried in my life. And I was like, it has to be from a brand that you haven't tried before. And that I remembered the YSL concealer, the one with the clicky pen and like that brush thing. I just feel like that made me feel fancy and I want that in my life. And it would be fun to have. For bronzer, I chose the Kevin O'Conn bronzer. And in particular, I kind of like that Neo bronzer. I've never bought it because it has like that alternating pattern thing going on. You know, like where it's not all the same shade in the one thing and it's just confusing to my brain. But if I, yeah, bronzers I've not tried. I'm sorry, this list is a bit bougie. I've tried. <laughs> I have bougie taste, what can I say? blush it's the Clinique cheek pop this has been on my face but I've never bought it I've swatched it I've heard so many cool things about it and I do really love the pattern in it yeah for highlighter it would be pretty much any of the offer highlighters I'm actually not 100% sure where to buy offer in Australia I think it's probably Beauty Bay they upmarket their prices so much I haven't bought from them before but I am curious to try and I mean, Nikki Tutorials is always spooking on about Ofra. I've seen a lot of other people going on about the Ofra highlighters and how intense and amazing they are. So I'd love to try an Ofra highlighter. I have no idea what shade though. For brow, this is another area that I've, I've delved into a lot of different products for and a lot of different brands. And that's where I came up with the Hourglass Brow Pencil. This is actually a pencil that my sister-in-law 
has and she loves it. She says it's the best thing ever. I remember when it first came out, a lot of people saying it was amazing. That That is the pencil I would try and have never tried. For eyeshadow primer, now I'm a little bit addicted to eyeshadow primer in general. I've tried all your classics and some drugstore ones. Um, I came across one called the Laura Mercier Eye Basics. I've just never delved into her brand much at all. And what I have seen looks really good. I've never seen a review on this. But yeah, the Laura Mercier Eye Basics is the eyeshadow primer I would have to buy if I couldn't buy anything I already owned. For eyeshadow palette, and so I really wanted a eyeshadow palette that maybe caters to my colorful needs and also could be neutral. It was a brand that I've not tried. This was difficult, but then I remembered Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Looking at those four palettes, I mean, look, if it was just me, I'd just buy the bundle because I have a problem. But if I had to choose one, it would be the 80s Baby. I've seen both Butte Bean and Annette's Makeup Corner I love these palettes and I'm just, that is the palette. I mean, is it, is it now on my wish list? I think so. <laughs> but it just really appealed to me and that definitely is a palette that I think I would enjoy based on reviews. For liner, this was also tough. Here is my liner drawer. There's a couple different brands in there. And a couple different kinds of liner. I don't really know what my favourite kind of liner is to begin with. So I pretty much just looked at a list and it would be maybe the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. And that's solely because I love Tom Ford's packaging. Every time I go past the Tom Ford section, I just like want to touch everything. I like the squares, the white, the gold. This pen just looked fancy. Yeah, and it's black eyeliner. Like how wrong could it be? For mascara, and we finally delve into a drugstore one because if you remember from my mascara declutter and also just how many different mascaras I do tend to rotate through on this channel, I have a mascara addiction? I definitely buy a lot of mascara. But it's got to be the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. One of my friends, this is her ride or die mascara. And it's sort of like, it, it cools to me occasionally when I'm walking through the supermarket aisles. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just waiting for a sale, 50% off, then maybe I'll pick it up. Let me know if you've tried this. But I mean, it's got good reviews online. It, it looked promising. Lipstick. Now... I do have an ongoing lipstick declutter series. There's two more videos I have to edit from that. I had 136, I think, lipsticks in the end. Different brands again. But one lipstick brand that I have not really delved into is Charlotte Tilbury. Predominantly, it's not available in Australia yet. It's got to be Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. This is a well-talked about, well-loved lipstick. I did swatch it when I was in the UK recently and it, it looks really nice. For setting spray, I also have a setting spray problem. There's not many things I'm not addicted to, I have to admit. But it's got to be the Scandinavia oil control. Because I think they just, they make, they make the Urban Decay one. So I guess it's the same product. And I see people seem to interchange or use either one or the other. Um, and just seems to have good reviews. Setting spray. Scandinavia. Uh, once again, that's not a brand that's readily available here. Urban Decay is, and I think you can get it from Adore Beauty. But yeah, so that is my list of products that I would buy based off reviews if I lost my entire collection. I hope you enjoyed like a little fresh chatty video. This was really fun to film. I'm going to tag some people in the description bar below. Uh, or just let me know some of the products down below. Let me know if you've got any opinions of any of these products. I'd love to know if you think I should be trying one of them like soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'd absolutely appreciate it if you consider subscribing if this is your first time here. If you're returning, you know I, <laughs> I just I absolutely appreciate and enjoy. Mm.